Me when the person at the supermarket checkout asks if I want help bagging my items. Leave them to me. I will deal with them myself. My internet trolls and haters when I give them a taste of their own medicine. And this is me looking at the empty bottles after a night of home alone binge drinking. Hey guys, welcome back. So today, we're going to talk about top three fragrance scams. That's right, it's fragrance related scams that you need to watch out for. And I'm going to give you other stuff in this video too, because this is now the Mr. Smelly winning at life while smelling good channel. It's a fragrance channel still, but it's fragrance plus. I'm going to give you a little bit of life advice and we'll talk about other things. Maybe a little bit of gentlemanly style, maybe a wristwatch or two. Let's mix it up. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Fragrance scams. Well, there are some real outright scams out there and, and illegal stuff, but we're not talking about those. But let's see what we are talking about today. If you like this uh, video, please do subscribe to the channel. Oh, by the way, if you want to buy fragrance samples in the USA, Canada or Puerto Rico, please go to myfragrancesamples.com. There is a link down there in the description. Amazing range of designer and niche scents. I highly recommend these guys. You can trust them. Okay, um, number one then. The first scam out there is the luxury niche fragrance scam. It is a little bit of a scam. I'm not saying anyone's doing anything illegal, so, you know, I don't want to get uh, in trouble here, but I've got to be frank with you here. The luxury niche fragrance thing is a bit of a scam where basically uh, the markup on fragrances is huge, okay? For a designer fragrance, you know, the, the percentage of the price that you're paying that actually uh, goes towards making the fragrance and getting it bottled and shipped is really small compared to some other that you know compared to cars or many other things that you might buy okay huge markups on fragrances so when you spend extra money for a niche fragrance they ain't suddenly spending uh, you know two three hundred dollars on your ingredients and then charging you an extra hundred for their profit and making four hundred dollars okay it doesn't work like that the markups are huge Fragrance brands, designer brands like Dior, in my opinion, brands like Guerlain use the highest quality. I don't think they're skimping on the ingredients very much at all. They use great, great ingredients and they're excellent and they cost designer prices. Niche fragrances out there, things like Creed, charge a lot more money. Uh, there is something about Creed that I do really like. They have their own house style and maybe some captive ingredients. But by and large, a lot of the time, to be honest with you, you're just buying the fact that you, it has a little bit more prestige, maybe, in your eyes. Some of the compositions are a little bit more out there and adventurous in the niche world, but they're not in any qualitative way that you can you can quantify higher quality fragrances. So the niching is a little bit of a scam. You know, brands, I'm, I'm not, I'm, what, let's not name any brands, but brands where you're sort of playing upwards of £300, $300. There's no way that the actual price of the juice can be any higher than about, you know, a certain level, which is probably close to what is spent by the uh, the Dior's and the Ode, the Galans and front houses like that. So you're paying for the BS, really, the idea that it's something a bit more fancy, or maybe the art of the perfumer. So watch out for that, okay? This niche quality thing that I mentioned in a, a previous video, it doesn't exactly exist, okay? Some of the real cheapy $10 fragrances, $20 fragrances, yeah, they are skimping on the ingredients too, but decent designer fragrances, brands like uh, Dior, Chanel, I really love Galan fragrances, I think the quality is just as good as the best and, and most expensive and prestigious and hyped niche brands. Remember that. Don't get scammed by some of these bullshit niche brands. By the way, that's kind of why our fragrance of my brand, Norton & Wilson, Chic Performinari, and all the other ones, is only pricing that at the moment at £95 in the UK, $120. Very, very reasonable price. And of course, we spend more per unit than the really big companies because of their economies of scale. They can they spend less. So this is a really good value fragrance. An amazing fragrance, Chic Performinari, really rich uh, amazing reviews and that is back in stock so wherever you are in USA Canada or the UK now you can buy it at nortonandwilson.com link in the description of this video don't miss out guys okay so I'm going to give you some life advice about scams to avoid too we're going to talk about a wristwatch in a second but my next scam to avoid in the fragrance world is the influencer reviewer scam okay so most of the big channels nowadays are very much fragrance influencers, but you might think that they're still fragrance reviewers giving you very, very accurate, objective information about fragrances. Now, I'm not saying they're lying to you, but with uh, these people, to be completely frank with you, they, they are not 
what exactly what they seem. Okay, these people are not necessarily experts in fragrances. Mostly, the thing that they're good at is knowing how to work the algorithm and making very skillfully and slickly produced videos, giving you a quick list of fragrances that you may or may not like. Sometimes they may have no connection with the fragrances they're selling you or, or telling you about, I should say, and they may get nothing from the companies that, whose fragrances they put in the video. But more often than not, there is some incentive for some of those fragrances to be in the videos. They may have affiliate links to go and buy them, etc., etc. So these people really are kind of advertisers for fragrances. That doesn't mean there's not useful information there, but the idea that someone is giving you an in-depth review of a load of fragrances on the bigger YouTube channels now, this is simply not true. And the, also the idea that they are experts on fragrances very rarely the case. There are notable exceptions, but what they're experts at is uh, is making videos that do well on YouTube. And many of them could have made videos about bicycles or which laptop to buy, but or, or which wine to drink. But for some reason, they they saw a gap in the market for fragrances. So I'm not saying they're horrible scammers, but don't get scammed into thinking these people know anything more than you yourself, and you that you, you would be any better off going with their advice than just following your own nose. Mm. Thirdly and finally, then the sex scam. Now that sounds awful, doesn't it? The sex scam in the fragrance world. Is pretty uh this is one that has been played over and over so of course we see all the videos about uh, make her want you be irresistible get compliments date night fragrances irresistible to women sense this is a oh, you don't need me to tell you this it's a huge scam but i'm going to tell you why okay uh first of all all women or men or whoever you're trying to attack but let's see most of your men watching this video and you probably mostly want to attract women all women are different you don't know which one likes what some of them might love heavy oud fragrances some of them might like fresh fragrances some of them like one million you there's no telling okay so nobody really knows and so the idea that you can predict this is, is ridiculous secondly the idea that the main factor in, in alluring in, uh, luring luring a woman not that you should lure them getting one you know getting hold of one the main factor in that is not how you smell okay sadly for people like me it's your personality so I, i'm in trouble there you know your integrity your decency the way maybe the way you look the way you dress maybe your status in the world but you know the fragrance is way down the list so don't fall for that also take a look at some of the people okay so a lot of the lady channels aimed at the, the men viewers <clears throat> they are attractive women uh, I'm going to get in trouble here, but the, look at the men. Let's leave aside Jeremy Fragrance because he is good looking and kind of charismatic, if a little wacky. But uh, let's take him aside and all the other biggest male channels with the most subscribers. I may be, correct me if I'm wrong, the English language ones. Are these people that if you were going on a date, you would want as your wingman? Are these people that you think are probably hot with the chicks, know how to pull the ladies? I'm, I've got to be frank with you. Most of them do look very, very average. And I'm kind of being kind even to say average in the way that they dress, uh, the way they look the way they kind of conduct themselves and talk. They don't have a lot of game, I've got to be honest. They're great at making the videos, factual and well-presented videos, but you know, how, how do they know what's going to attract women? Because most of them, I don't think, look like they would be massively adept at that. Am I right? Am I right? Or am, I, am I wrong? I think that there's kind of a scam there, okay? So that's it. Those are my three scams to watch out for. Don't fall for them. Believe in yourself. Here are two fragrances that I really like. First up, uh, and whether you were going to get women with it, I couldn't tell you that, but we've got Eau de Guerlain. Eau de Guerlain, fantastic citrus aromatic, 1974. You can still buy this. I hope it still comes in this wonderful bee bottle. As you can see, I've made a real dent in this. That's another thing. A lot of the reviewers hold up fragrances and say they love it, but you know they've had it two years and they've only used two mils. Um, this is superb. It, it's a bit reminiscent of YSL Pour Homme from 1971, and it is a citrus aromatic with rugged wood, so it's green burst of a very fresh bergamot and lemony kind of notes. Then you've got green herbs and crisp white woods in the base, and vetiver being one of them. Absolutely superb. Great all rounder bit old school but pure class in a bottle so try that one something a little bit less old school i love eau sauvage cologne if you're not sure about the modern formula of eau sauvage the 66 release eau de toilette which is not quite as good as it used to be this is really really nice just a brilliantly executed crisp citrusy fresh masculine scent for any occasion last well particularly if you spray it on the clothes highly recommend that one talking of scams then here's one thing to watch out for in the world of scams okay I've been lucky. I'm, 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 you know, I've never been scammed out of any money or anything like that in my life. And here's one way I would, I would approach it. When you're doing stuff in life, buying things, signing up for stuff, don't ever sign up for anything that has been sold to you in any kind of cold call or email out of the blue. Okay, so you know if, if someone calls about your phone, uh, what do you call it, your phone co contract or something. 
do not ever get into a long conversation or think about going with what they're saying. Or if anyone calls from your bank or, you know, but I, I, I have to make the call before I make any changes to anything to do with my money or my bills or anything like that. So if someone tries to offer me better prices on my gas, I'm not interested. Just end the call, okay? If I want to change my phone tariff and go with a different company, I'll ring the company. Someone rang me the other day from my, it was a legitimate call. It wasn't a scam, but they were saying they want to fit a smart meter. So she said, we need to come and fit your smart meter soon. So I said, oh, what do you mean need to? Is it, is it compulsory that we have a smart meter? Well, she says, no, no, it's not, but it's much better for you. So I said, no, it's not. I didn't like that, okay? It's up to me. I'll call, I said, I'll look online and I'll find out if I want a smart meter and I'll call you, okay? So be cynical. If anyone comes to you, if anyone e emails me or our brand and says, here's an opportunity to grow your brand and we'll advertise for you, not interested. I will go to the people that I want to give money to to provide me with a service. If anyone comes to me from nowhere, I never go with it, okay? And that's that I've never been scammed out of money in my life. It's a good tip. Okay, last but not least, let's talk wristwatches. My wristwatch of the day is a lovely Amiga Seamaster. This is a late 80s model. It is the Quartz 40mm version. It's sometimes called a pre-Bond because the model after this, completely different, was used in Bond films. But it's I don't like it to be associated with the word Bond because it has nothing to do with Bond. It has lovely, lovely markers on there. Lovely little bit. I think that's patina, unless it came with a creamy yellow in the first place. Maybe it did. Uh, but it's, I love the colour. I love the way the hands are not quite like a Rolex Submariner because there are some Amigas with the, um, the what do you call it, Mercedes hands or whatever you call it, which I prefer not to see on the Amigas. It's got a, obviously a rotating bezel. It's the 40mm uh, model, much harder to, to get than the 36mm, which were more prevalent that they made. And there is a 36mm and a 40mm automatic, but this is the quartz. But the size, I think, is just right for a diver. I got it for a little bit under a 1,000, and I think that's great value for such a high-quality diver's watch, reminiscent of a Submariner by Rolex, which will cost you 10 times as much but it has enough charm to not be a copy or homage and I love the bracelet design so check out your vintage watches and I'll try and talk a bit about some more easily accessible Seiko watches and stuff that you can still buy today if you'd like me to if you like my new direction let me know and help me out by subscribing there's a link no there isn't there's a button down below that says subscribe I guess that's it for today so remember whatever you're doing in life let's project and though life may sometimes stink at least we can always smell good bye bye